everyone. I'm uh, Nick Picard. I'm here uh, presenting uh, What's on the Table. Uh, my team here with Catherine and Monica. What's on the Table is a product where clients and coaches can meet. So this is our latest MVP. Unfortunately, it'll look like a website. Right now, it's just a piece of paper. But basically, it's a site where clients and coaches can sign up and meet and start an online relationship. This is the guts of uh, what's on the table. It's basically a shared workspace. This is, you know, this is the table that we imagine, a table between the client and the coach. It's a virtual whiteboard where they can work together, collaborate on exercises, achieving goals, problems, and solutions. On the two sides, we have private virtual whiteboards for each, the client and the coach. The coach can basically you know, put his own notes, his own exercises, his own ideas, and the client can put his own insights, reminders, what he wants to ask the coach in his next session. This is a tool that they can both use on their own, and they can use as a collaborative when they're both online together. So some of the results that we've achieved with this prototype, with this product, is basically we have a coach who's agreed to pay us $100 a month to use our products. We also have Jason and Chris here in the room who paid $20 to use our Conflict Connector tool, which will allow Jason and Mark to speak with Alyssa that uh, presented yesterday, and she has agreed to work with us as a partner to um, coach them and have a small mentoring session with them. Finally, we have Max, who's also signed up with our product. He's paying us $20 a month to use our What's on the Table tool. Alyssa, which I just mentioned. And finally, we have three key partnerships. The first one here is with Conference Checker. This is the idea with, that we had with Alyssa. Basically, we are going to work with Conference Checker, and they're going to help, and we're going to work together so that we can achieve more clients and more feedback for each other. We also have a partnership with Jerry Kirk. Jerry is an agile coach, very well respected in the community. What makes him different from most coaches is that he works and lives in Sault Ste. Marie, which basically means he does all his coaching online. He's going to help us develop this product to make it great for online relationships. So, how did we get here? How did we get from where we started Thursday to where we are today? It was a long and arduous road. We started with an idea that only got three votes and almost never got off the ground. It was a Getting Things Done app. Basically, it was a Gmail plugin which would let you do all your getting things done within Gmail. Nobody wanted it. The people who did know about getting things done, which wasn't that many, already had a system that worked for them and they didn't want to pay for a new system. So we pivoted. We pivoted the next day to also a productivity tool called Time Catcher. Time Catcher was a way for people to track how much time they were wasting on the internet, doing email and documents and whatnot. Again, we had a similar problem. The people who were interested in knowing were ought to be the super productive people who didn't need it. <laughs> that was a problem. They did not want to pay for this. We had to pivot once more. We pivoted to the 10,000 foot view product. The 10,000 foot view product was also based on the getting things done. It was like, okay, well, we're going to help people. People don't care about short term. We're going to do something long term where people don't really focus on it. We're going to help them achieve their goals. We ran into problems with this idea, even though what's on the table is an evolution of this idea. The problem that we had is we're getting mixed feedback from the customer interviews we're having. Some people were saying we like it, some people were saying we don't like it. Then there was a key validation. The validation was there are two different types of relationships when you're helping each other achieve goals. Is that there's a mentor-mentee relationship, which is an unpaid, altruistic type of relationship. And then there's the coach and client relationship, which is a paid, economical relationship. What we decided with our next with it was to focus on what's on the table. What's on the table focuses on the paying customer and on the coach getting paid for his services. There was value there for both people. First of all, for the coach, there was value for him to pay because he would provide a better service. Not only would he provide coaching sessions, but he would also have his customer be able to walk away with a record of what they worked on so that he could refer to it later. As well for the coach, down the road, he'll provide them a lot of leads on new clients that sign up to the website. For the client, this was useful because he had a product where now, even after paying for five hours of training, 
he had something to show for it and something to refer to in the future. And while he, and if he ever signed up for new lessons, he would basically already have a lot of the work behind it. It would also provide him a way to centralize all his personal improvement tools by having various coaches within his own virtual folders. Keep going? Is that the last one? Okay, perfect. So let's, how did we get there? Well, we did a lot of things. We did a lot of MVPs. We did 35 customer interviews. We did one survey. We did uh, four or five prototypes. And what are the results? Well, we got four paying customers. We have two coaches, two clients. We have a few partnerships. And basically, yeah, sorry? Oh, I thought, I thought you were So um, how much more solution validation do you, do you think you need before you build a, a proto prototype as software? I think, we're, I, I think we're ready to build the prototype as software at this point. You think so, yeah? Yeah, I think we're ready to have a landing page and a website where people can sign up. Yeah? What type of coach-client relationship is going to be your first customer? We're going to focus on the Agile coaching community because with the Terry Kirk's partnership, we're going to be able to definitely fine-tune it. Thank you.